Now we're going to go through a three-point gait pattern. Normally you would teach your patient your gait pattern when they're sitting down and you would demonstrate first, but just for the sake of time, we are going to go through it uh, with Ryan in current time, okay? As you can tell, we are going to have a gait belt on him and I'm going to be uh, standing on his affected side in case he's more likely to fall to his unaffected side and this allows me to pull him back closer to the, the, my center of gravity. So a three-point gait pattern is a gait pattern when it's only non-weight bearing. So we are going to move the crutches first and then I will cue him to move the affected limb, but that's non-weight bearing so there's no contact with the ground. And then I'll instruct him to move the unaffected limb, which is where all the weight will be going through. So as you can tell, we'll go crutches, affected, which is non-weight bearing, and then unaffected to bring himself forward. So crutches, affected, unaffected. Good job. Crutches, affected, unaffected. All right. So that's all we're going to do right now. And then we're going to switch to a three-point modified gait pattern. And you can switch your, all right, this is fine. You can make this one your affected. So I want already on the right side and they can still see you. So now a three point modified, the only thing that changes, this can now be a patient who is partially weight bearing, uh, toe touch weight bearing, or uh, weight bearing is tolerated. So now we're gonna say he's 50% partial, partial weight bearing. And so we are gonna use the same cueing, but we're gonna instruct him to use 50% of his, put 50% of his body weight through his affected limb. And a good thing of educating your patient is, imagine you just standing here with both your legs touching the ground, you're automatically putting 50% each leg, and that would be a good representation of what 50% uh, weight bearing is. So same cueing, I'm standing on the opposite side, on his affected side, in case he is to fall to his unaffected side. We are gonna go, Crutches, affected, which he can put 50% of his weight through, and he's gonna put the other 50% through the crutches, and then he's gonna bring his unaffected forward. So crutches, affected, which is 50%, 50% through the crutches, then unaffected. We're gonna do that one more time. Crutches, affected, unaffected. And that is both three-point and three-point modified with bilateral crutches.